So I'm uh, packing some things up to move to Florida and I'm also going to be uh, putting things up on a garage sale. And I noticed this one box that was up in my attic and that's the box right there. And inside it, I know there's newspapers in there. I used to uh, save old newspapers many, many years ago. And now for the first time, I don't know how long, I'm going to see what's in this bag and uh, share it with you guys. Anyone who likes to follow history, I enjoy history. Let's see what's inside this bag. For the first time, and I don't know how long, I'm going to see what's inside here. So I'm going to call this video History in a Box. Uh, let's see what's in here. I'll just take them out one at a time and see what we got out. Oh yeah, this is uh, February 25th, 1980. This is when the uh, Americans won the gold medal. Uh, remember, they beat the Russians. I don't think this was the Russians game. This was, uh, I think it was either Sweden or Norway that they beat to win the gold. It's an interesting one. Okay. So, next one. Oh yeah, Elvis Presley dies at 42. For Chicago Tribune, uh, August 17th, 1977, uh, heart attack, cause of death. And there's Elvis, uh, not looking too good there in his later years. Uh, put that in the in the box. Chicago Daily News. Is also reporting the death of uh, Elvis. Interesting. That's some history here. Let's see what the next one is. Okay, this one's upside down. Ah, uh, this isn't too old. This is a. Uh, somebody must have saw this one. This one, the White Sox won the World Series, October 27th, 19 or 2005. I'm not a White Sox fan. I'm a Cub fan. Inside there, when they won the. World Series. I remember it was against the Astros. Let's see what else I got here. Okay, uh, November 5th, 1980, uh, Reagan in a landslide. Chicago Tribune. So we beat Jimmy Carter. There you go. There's Jimmy. No more Jimmy. Remember the hostages in Iran? That, that thing was still going on. What's next? Okay, uh... Anwar, Anwar Sadat killed. Yeah, he was assassinated. And this is, uh... October 7th, 1981. Gunned down over in, uh, Cairo, Egypt. I don't know what this is here. Maybe I'll leave that for later on. Okay. Coldest day in history, 26 below zero. Uh, date of the paper, Chicago Tribune again. January 11th, 1982. Man, I remember that. And the back of it, uh, 14 homes burn in a city block. Uh, must have been a big fire there in Chicago when the weather was really cold. Yeah, I remember that day, and it was cold. All right, next one. Uh, the hostages are free. Uh, at January 20th, uh, Reagan had just taken office. His inauguration, and at the same time, they were freeing the hostage in Iran at that time. There's a picture of all the hostages. Yeah, the Middle East is still screwed up. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, uh, oh boy. All right, here, uh, Pope, okay after surgery. Suffers two bullet wounds. Well, the guy from Turkey was being held as the assassin. Uh, 
shot by a man identified as a fugitive Turkish gunman. Crazy. Okay. Next one. Uh, okay. It's crazy. I don't remember this one too much. Uh, oh yeah, this is happening in uh, Kansas City when this bridge collapsed. Uh, this is July 19th, 1981. That's funny, right up here you see uh, Prince Charles, Lady Diana. There's a segment about the royal wedding there also. 111 people killed in Kansas City when this uh, this walkway collapsed in, uh, in Kansas City. That was crazy. Must have been some lawsuits over that one. Uh, hundred events that shaped America. Life magazine. Uh, what else we got here? Let's see. Uh, the Nixon transcript Watergate tapes. I'm not really big on politics. I think they're all crooks. But uh, Chicago Tribune was running this back in the day. This is uh, May 1st, 1974. Over 40 years ago. Next one. January 14th, 1982. DC crash kills 65. Yeah, I remember this uh, crash in the river. I remember this woman they were trying to rescue these people from the shore. I think they were also trying to use like uh, helicopters. I mean, that was cold. October 14th, 82. Next one. Comedian John Bucci is found dead. March 6th, 1982. Well, a lot of stuff happened in 82. Autopsy is set to learn the cause of the actor's death, which uh, it was drugs. All right, 1977, March 28th, the U.S. and a Dutch jumbo jet crash, 559 people killed in the Canary Islands. Uh, you know, I've been around a while, so I can remember a lot of these things. This happened, I think one was crossing the runway while another one was taking off. Uh, I think that's still the worst disaster in history. All right, here's the one where everybody knows about. Nixon resigns. There's Gerald Ford, he becomes president. October 9th, 1974. And, uh... There's Nixon hugging his daughter Julie. He was a crook, like most politicians are. All right, there you go. Mayor Daley has died. Longtime mayor of Chicago. Big time politician, head of the machine. December 21st, 1976, is this uh, newspaper. All right. Patty Hearst found guilty. There's Patty. That was a big trial back in the day out in California, San Francisco area. Uh, date March 21st, 1976. Uh, I don't know what this one is. It's just like some kind of ads or something. Uh, let me Put that away. There you go. <laughs> yeah, the Three Mile Island incident. Uh, chance of atomic reactor meltdown called remote. March 31st, 1979. You uh, know. They, they avoided a major disaster there, but uh, still goes on. All right, here we go. The president is shot. Here's Reagan. Uh, he got shot by March 31st, 1981. 
undergo surgery. His condition is good. Brady also shot. And uh, there's Brady there. Huh. Okay. See it's here. There you go. It's the uh, first time the space shuttle was used. The Columbia. April 15th, 1981. There's the two astronauts there. John Young. Robert Crippen. And they had many more missions after that. Alright. Pope Paul dead. Uh, August the 7th, 1978. Lepanif succumbs to a heart attack. He reigned over the Catholic Church uh, for 15 years, it says. Another one. Okay. Oh, yeah, this was the MGM uh, Grand Hotel. I, it's now the Bally's. I've stayed there. Uh, 85 people killed. November 22nd, 1980 is the Tribune here date. Choppers lift guests off the roof. Yeah, that, that fire spread really fast. Some people were still playing their slot machines while the fire was going on. Ah, sermon by the shore. This is when uh, Pope John Paul II came to Chicago. October 6th, 1979. There you go. That's Grant Park. The skyline's changed a bit since then. Uh, they were talking about half a million people in the park at that time. I think they were exaggerating, but uh, that was a big day for Chicago. Uh, again, uh, that's when the Pope came to town, to Chicago. Uh, let's see. More Patty Hearst stuff. Worst U.S. crash. Uh, 272 people died over here. Yep. May 26, 1979. Uh, this is one that... The engine fell off, if I remember, on a, was it a DC-10, a 707, something like that? Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, the, so Friday, DC-10 crash near O'Hare. Firefighters are searching through the wreckage, it says. Yeah, that was, uh, I think it's still the number one U.S. air crash to this date, and that was back in 79. Almost done. Oh, no, I still got a few more here. Let's see. Uh, all right. July 4th, 1976. That was the 200th anniversary. The Bicentennial. I kept that one. Now, there's an old TV guide. Now, here's one. All you old timers remember this one. John Wayne. John Wayne is dead at 72. Tough movie hero, victim of cancer, a living legend created on the screen. Yeah, he was a major movie star, John Wayne. The date on this again, July the 12th, or I'm sorry, June the 12th, 1979. All right. Okay. Only people in Chicago would appreciate this one. Uh, this was the last edition of the Chicago Daily News, March 4th, 1978. I think this might be a collectible now, but newspapers don't sell very well on eBay or even in pawn shops. Believe me, I've tried. Uh, it's a pretty thick newspaper, too. All right. Let's see, Patty indicted. That's Patty Hearst again. Charged an armed robbery in a 
I think her defense was that she was brainwashed or something, if I remember correctly. This is uh, June the 7th, 1974. And last but not least, another one when the Pope John Paul II was elected by the College of Cardinals. October 17th, 1978. Okay, well there you go. I hope you uh, got a kick out of it. I had no idea what I was, what I had in, these, uh, in this box inside that inside that wrapping, that plastic. But uh, interesting stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. There you go. It's a history lesson in a box. Take care. Leave your comments. Bye.